holy priest is his pew, the Lord of the world, the most mighty, the finder, life giver, the we the law found mental death in the wilderness of North America. My beloved brothers, sisters, friends, likewise, I am thankful to Allah that He has permitted me to come before you this afternoon as your guest speaker. As I had planned, and I thank Him for permitting me to be here in your midst this afternoon. To the Muslim and that teacher, Minister Lucius of number 4 Depot, Washington, I thank you, brother minister and sisters and brothers of Temple number 4, for your invitation to me to come and visit you for the first time in about eight years or more. And I thank you for honoring me here this afternoon, not only with your own friends, but with your friends, friends, I want to thank each and every Muslim follower of mine who has traveled far and near to be here this afternoon to meet your leader and teacher. by your presence and your sincere love travel from the west, middle west, south and north and east of America to just to meet me here, listen to what I have to say for a few minutes. That is wonderful of you. There is no leader or follower in America that is can do so much as Islam has done for you and I. I want to thank the Capitol Police Commission for sending up an escort of officers to escort me through the city and to sit around me wherever I am to protect me and my party. I think <laughs> the Honorable Commission of the Police Department of Washington, D.C. Washington are its government. I'm only here to fulfill my appointment with you 
as I had already promised, and to bring to you the truth. I'm here this afternoon with the solution to the so-called Negro problem and his slave master. You are not sitting here this afternoon looking at me for foolishness. You are seeking something. You are seeking an answer to your 400-year-old prayer. Your prayer for the last 400 years has been for justice. It was the cry of our fathers when they first landed in the Western Hemisphere. It was justice. And that cry, that prayer has ever been going up before Allah ever since. But you have not received an answer. Everything has failed you. You have been greatly deceived and disappointed. Church has failed. The Christian religion failed you. religion has failed you. Now the government of America has failed you. You have no justice coming from no quarter. You have, it is written, they mongrel. Every wool taken up by that. You want justice. You want freedom. You want equality. But get none. Your prayer is ever on Capitol Hill. They're ever before Congress in the House of Senate. Your prayer, pleading for justice for millions of the prime so-called Negroes of North America. Going without end. Will you accept an answer to your prayer? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Why have not you had an answer to your prayer? Due to the fact you have not been praying <laughs> to the right God. You have not known the true God. You have not known the true religion. You have not known uh, who was God and who was the devil. <laughs> you have known yourself nor your kind. Therefore, you have met all folk with complete destruction. You plead to the politicians for help. 
I want to say to you this afternoon, <coughs> politics will not answer the prayer that you are praying. Politics will not solve the problem of the Negro. For the Hebrews are Israel. of decision. We have come to the uh, crossroads, the point wherein that we must make a decision on what we shall do or what we shall look forward to do tomorrow. We must make a, a decision. We must come to an agreement. That is, if we think anything of ourselves, our people, and the future of our wives and our children. Of these unjust judges. 
Therefore, you must know the truth of it all. The truth hurts. At least the guilt. The truth, according to the Bible, put in the things of Jesus 2,000 years ago, will make you free. There is much truth. But what you and I would like to know, what truth is that that will make us free? You have read this all your life. That the truth will make you free, but you never knew what that truth was. Some of us thought that it was joining the church. Some of us thought it was the <coughs> teaching of Jesus, birth and death. Some of us thought that the truth was <coughs> to know the religion of Christianity. My beloved brothers and sisters, that is not the truth that is referred to there. The writer failed to tell you and I in words what truth that Jesus referred to. The truth that you should know that will make you free, it is the truth of God and the devil. <laughs> the truth of yourself and uh, the true religion of God. You today <laughs> think and have misunderstood much. You think that Jesus was the final word of truth, while he himself, according to his own word, confessed that he could not tell it all. But he prophesied that God would send one that would reveal to you the utmost of truth. And the utmost of truth, according to prophecy, is to be revealed to the people lying in the mud. They would need a fight to receive the truth. They would need a fight that God would make himself known to. Not to the truth and wise of this world, but to the fools of this world. And you are those fools. Don't be offended. You are the fool that the Bible says that God would choose to be his people. You have not realized how precious you are in the sight of God today. You don't know that you are the problem of the whole entire civilized world today. You don't realize that without the solving of your problem, the American so-called Negro today, there will be nothing done. It is your problem today that the whole world faces. 
It is your problem today that troubles America. of your problem today, there will be no future for anyone. We have a new day coming. We have a new world that is now working in on the earth. Don't even exist there. Christ 
Christianity offers you salvation after death. And, and I mean death. You must go down in the earth and rot. That kind of salvation I don't want. I will not give you two cents. Any fool that will work hard all his life praying to God to take him at death and give him a home beyond the grave is a fool. I'm sorry that you think ill of me, but truth is all I'm going to speak. You are in a terrible condition. Without the knowledge of self, God, and the devil in us. You are in a terrible condition. Right in the day of judgment. This is the time of judgment. It is not to come, it's going on now. If it was not already on, I would not be here talking with you this afternoon. We, as a people, numbering the between 17 and 20 million people in America and have worked and slaved for America for 400 long years, only now to be denied justice even by the federal government. We have fought in every war that the country was involved. The so-called Negro's blood has been shed on his own soil and on foreign soil. Only today to be denied justice in the government that he has fought and bled and died for. The government allows lynchers to lynch you and I at will. <laughs> and even go so far as to hide the identity of the lynch. If found by the Turn the lynch over to his brother, who is in sympathy with him. Our daughters and our wives speak in race before our eyes. By the white man in boys of America. And the government will not put a stop to it, but will allow lynchers to lynch you and I if we are charged with an attempt to rape one of them. <laughs> All of this you suffer. The lynchers live right next door, but is not brought to death. All of this grief you and I are burdened with. Think over you and I numbering 20 million people approximately in America suffering such shame and humiliation in a rich and a powerful government with its power in the sea, on land, and above the clouds, gulling the earth, gathering nations, 
Because Ronnie is there and at them. And yet will not defend you and I. They get injustice in their midst. Can you 
as a people have to be anything if you go to Christ, your own leader, who tries to seek justice for you, even at the cost of their own lives. I'm not before you of myself. 
I have not been fit of myself. I am fit to you, my almighty God, Allah. To you, I have not taken myself. My mission is not from myself. Law is my mission from the devil. My mission is from the Lord of the world. It is a very strong and powerful mission. It is a mission that will bring about a turning point in your history and in the history of the world. The crew will make you free. What is that crew that will free us? We are already free. Abraham Lincoln freed us. That is not the kind of freedom that this truth will free you of. Abraham Lincoln was not your friend. Abraham Lincoln was not instrumental in trying to free you. Remember that. Abraham Lincoln wanted a United States of America. He wanted to be the president, the sole president of a United States of America. They didn't want two presidents. They didn't want two governments ruling America. They wanted only one government. One president for them all. Not that he was in so much love with the so-called Negro that he wanted to free them from the hand of his brother. But this was a good weapon to bring his brother in submission to his idea of a United States and a one president of that United States. So therefore, you were just lucky that you got freed from service to slave at that time. Otherwise, probably you would have still been in service to slave until today. You say you love Link. You love it because he frees you. He's your emancipator. I said to you, Mr. Link, <laughs> was not your brother. He was no friend of yours any more than George Washington. One hundred years up from slavery, you still today feel proud that you have been schooled. You have a few diplomas and degrees. You can do little things educational. But that is not yet gotten you justice in America. You still suffer injustice with an arm full of diplomas and degrees from colleges and universities. That right? It is not right for you. I'm here for you to throw out of this place. I am willing that you throw me out. If I'm not right, shoot me down, cut me down in a way you please to get rid of. Me. If I'm not right, but if I'm right, be aware. What we what today is justice. We want the truth. The truth has come to you. But you are not accepted. Think over it. There is a few of us who have accepted God to be Allah 
We have accepted Islam to be our religion. And all religion as all is God himself. A religion of the prophet. A religion of all the righteous. A religion of freedom, justice, and equality. A religion of universal brotherhood. A religion that a brother will fight and die for his brother. If you and I are deprived of justice, if the fair 
order of government will not punish our murder and our rape. I said to you and I, we should get together and find some way to punish them
can't blame the government for not giving you nothing when you are not asking for nothing. The only thing that you are pleading for is a job. Is not it true that John Hopkins, this white slave trader of our people, brought you and I and our fathers here just for the purpose of working for the white man. He didn't bring you here to make you the white man equal. He didn't bring you here to make you a citizen of America. He didn't bring you here to make you an owner or president of America. He didn't bring you here for you to feel that you are equal with white people or that you should demand from the white man equal justice in their court. Because in the first place, he brought you here to be a slave. You feel uh, satisfied with your little education that you are happily sitting in heaven to be in rich America and uh, under injustice. You feel happy of that. Just because that you can wear good clothes or because that you can ride in the good car on the star of America. Owned by the white man of America. Car made by the white man. He is the owner of all. You that ride in the car is owned by him. Now you feel proud. Proud of what? people that have become a nation in a nation, 17 or 20 million of them, and don't own even a square mile of that country, don't own a town or a city in that country, and yet feel proud that they are citizens of that country, something is wrong up there. to be a servant in America for white people forever? Are you satisfied to suffer injustice at the hands of the white murder? Are you satisfied to see your woman freely taken from your side and used by them at their will? Are you satisfied?
You need to uh, be your own brother. I even kill him if he don't want to join your new. It is the only cue for you and I to unite the devil. In the All right, sir. What is it that we are killed? What is it that 10 million of us is killed? Far right. right and just right there, And only leave uh, uh, 10 million of us. That's right. That 7 million of us will uh, enjoy freedom just as any part. You do this or that. No, I'm not here begging the government to do either one, that or this. I'm begging you to unite with me on a power that will get you there.
daddy has it sealed to me what he has revealed. It is up to you to believe it or let go. But I know the end of it all. I know tomorrow. And I would be happy to tell you if you will believe it. I want you to remember my beloved brothers and sisters that America is working in every way to prevent you and I from uniting. Americans don't want no united Negro. Americans don't want no Islamic Negro. This is the most greatest religion of all the religions of the world to come among white people. To you. But Americans don't want the Negroes to lay down Christianity and accept Islam. Why don't they tell you why? Hmm? This Christianity and the Christians brought you into place under Christianity. Why don't they tell you why they don't want you to accept Islam? Which is not an organization, not an organized religion, but it is a religion of the nature of God and as old as God. It had no beginning, nor end. Why don't they teach you that? Why don't they teach you the truth of what that religion will do for you? It will free you from them. Then why should not that goodness have 
in in their farm. Who in they their farm? Think over these things. No, that is not it. They see the fire coming.
the fullness of it is out. Get us off and die yourself. We only want <laughs> yeah. We want good home. We want home that is protected. We want home that is not windows broken out just because that it is a na in the neighborhood of our enemy that don't like us live near to them. Just think over you find a home sold by them in a neighborhood that they don't want you in because they think it's a better neighborhood than the one that you're in. And then we'll come around, break up, destroy the property that they sold to you, make your wife miserable trying to live in that home, burn it up, burn it, destroy them, then beat you shoot you by even moving in their neighborhood. Will you continue to rob and admire such people, die for such people, when they don't want you in their neighborhood? This kind of injustice is enough to make a fast monkey shed tail.
to allow a wake of the eye, a smile, and a soft worry, and a pat on her shoulder from the lynch's breath. From the lynch's breath. Knowing that her freedom and her husband's freedom, her father's freedom, her brother's freedom is now deprived by that same blue-eyed man that is patting her and waking at her. And these are the people that God has revealed 
to you and I, that is nothing but devil, and there's no good that we can hope of this. We cannot hope for justice from the devil. We cannot hope good to come to us from this. Four hundred years is a enough lesson for you and I. We have pleaded to them for justice. We have pleaded to them for mercy. And it has fell on deaf ears. And today we are just as far off from getting justice from them as we were four hundred years ago. Integration? You say integrate. Integrate what? For what? What are you going to get out of? Huh? Did you have to go to school with them? Do you have to get to sit as a student in school beside them? Do you think that's getting you up that, uh, that equal? No, that is not yet the, uh, the key. Do you think that because that you ride together with them on their transportation, that that is elevating you to become equal with them? No. Do you think because that they invite you into their home or marry your son or your daughter, do you think that you are getting up in the world? Huh? Will integration solve the problem of justice to you? No. It only destroys you because of the lack of knowledge of that people, they will destroy you. They don't want you. They fight and they get you. They don't want you uh, that close to them. You say, well, they got it to do because the government says so. You are in love with them. You are crying and begging them to let me sit beside you when you should be praying to them to send me as far from you as these is from the West. We have come 
to the point where we must have a home on this earth that we can call our own. You uh, uh, pray for help to be sent to us, money to help them be free of England and America. <laughs> it is like a blind man <laughs> praying <laughs> for eyes for the other blind man that can't see as he and, uh, and yet don't realize that he don't have no eyes. It is a shame. You are robbed by such talk. There are many of our people running around over the country and, and putting out literature all over the country. Help Africa. Help to gain her independence. Where is your independence? other than a job, and to recognize you as a, a, a human being like themselves, just treat us, treat us, like I said, let the government kill us all if they don't want to give us justice or a place in the Western Hemisphere that we can call our I say to you, may the peace and the blessings of Allah be upon you. As I say, in the name of Allah, I salam alaykum. Please hold your seat. Please hold your seat. Just one moment, please.